happy Friday year four. We're at the end of the week for week one of home learning. I know it's probably been a little bit strange and a little bit rubbish because you haven't been able to see all your friends, but we're one week down, okay? So this video is for children who have the year three comprehension book, okay? So this is um, your last comprehension activity for this week. And we will be looking at a non-fiction text that's titled Let's Get Growing. So open to your contents page, find that title, find the page and we will begin. So you should be on page 10 for this activity. You can double check that it is the right page. By looking at the title, we can see that it's called Let's Get Growing. So, a little bit of information about this one. It says, this extract is from a gardening book for children by garden writer Leah Lean Dirts and children's television gardener Chris Collings, who has appeared on Blue Peter. So Blue Peter is a TV show for children. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's been around for ages. And it says in this extract, the authors write about how to get involved in gardening and the benefits that gardening can bring. So it's going to be a non-fiction text that talks about gardening. OK, so again, you've got your line numbers down the side of the page to help you. So get into that habit year four of writing the line numbers down. So when you come to your questions, they're there to help you, okay? So, because it's a non-fiction text, you've got a title and you've got three paragraphs that all have subtitles. So that means they're all different topics about what you can do in your garden, okay? So I would read through it twice at least, and then I would underline any words that I am unsure of. And I would check what they mean, okay? So you've been doing this now for a week, year four. I hope you know that if there is a word that you are stuck on, you know where you can go to look for what it means, okay? And again, if you are stuck on how to pronounce a word, you can use your phonics to help you, okay? And like I say, you can use your highlighter, your colouring pen, pencil, to highlight the words that you are finding hard to pronounce or hard to understand what they mean, okay? And you can find out what they mean later on. So for this one, you've got six questions and a lot of them are worth two marks. So that means you need to write a little bit more in order to get your marks for this question, okay? Or for those questions. So question number one says, in what ways are the title and first paragraph different from the rest of the text? Why do you think this is? So if I hold the text up to you, what is different about the title, so this bit here, and the first paragraph? What is different? Now, it is something that you can see. It's not something that you can read. It's something that you can see. It's a visual thing that you can see with your eyes. So have a quick think. What is it? Okay. I think it's the font size of the font and the fact that it's all in bold because it's bold isn't it to show that it's the first bit of the text it's an important bit it's probably going to be the introduction okay why do you think they've presented that first paragraph differently to all the others so have a think why do we think that so i think they might have done it because it's the start of the text so they've told us by present, well, they've presented it differently to begin with, and they've shown us that that is the start of the text. That's going to tell us a little bit about what's going to happen in the text, what the text is about, okay? So it's to get us interested in the text. So they've done it to make sure the reader is interested in the text. Question number two, why do the authors recommend homegrown produce. So why is it that you think they've recommended you growing your own things? 
So I would read, what if I haven't got a garden? Okay, I would read that. And that would give me the answer to question two. Okay, now if you are stuck, please remember, you can get in touch with us on the year four email address. Okay, number three. What do you think the authors mean by give your plants lots of love in line 13? Now we have done, it was quite early on in the year, a little bit in science about what plants need to grow. So using the knowledge that you already have about how to grow plants, down to line 13, which is going to be in this paragraph still, Again, you will have written down, hopefully, your line numbers and highlight the sentence that tells you about why you need to give your plants love. Okay? Why? What is it going to get the plant to do? Okay? And again, um, even though it's a one mark answer, you've got enough space to write a good sentence about that. Question four, how do the authors feel about gardening? How can you tell? So what is it about the text that tells you how they feel? Okay, so it could be that in the introduction that they've used words like cannot wait, special sunflower, real wonders, okay? And it says here, uh, being a gardener will keep you and your friends busy, happy and well fed. So why is it, or what is it, that they're saying that makes them feel a certain way about gardening? Do they love it? Do they hate it? Is it something that they enjoy? Is it something that they don't like doing? So you need to read all of the text to find how they feel, okay? And you need to give me some evidence for how you know this. So you could say... I think the gardeners love going out in the garden. I know this because, and then you would write why, okay? So I know this because. You need to provide me with evidence from the text that tells me why, okay? Question five, what do you think the purpose of this text is? Now, we know from the contents page that it is non-fiction. So there is something about this text that is going to help the reader. Because non-fiction is usually something that gives us information. So what is it that the text is doing? What is the job of the text? Is it to explain? Is it to inform us? So to tell us about something? Is it to give us instructions? So you need to read it very carefully. Now, I know all of you have done either explanation text or instruction text. So you should be able to tell me what it is about, why it is non-fiction. OK, what is the job of the text? Question six. Do you think being a gardener is important? Explain your answer. Now, this one, you can use your opinion. But I also want you to look at the last section that has the title, so now you're a gardener, okay? So I want you to look at that one. Now I want you to tell me a little bit about why it is important, okay? So what is it that makes it an important thing to be a gardener, yeah? So using what you know, and you have had some lessons in geography and science, about why it is important to grow plants and wildlife and to encourage things to grow. So use what you know, but also what is in the text, because we're looking at your comprehension, so your understanding of the text, okay? We're looking for the best handwriting, as usual, and we also want you to write in full sentences with capital letters and full stops, okay? Now remember, I would love to see the photographs of the work that you have done, because we need to see what you've been doing every day, don't we? And I hope that if you have any questions or if you are stuck, that you get in touch with us because then we can help you, okay? And on a last note, um, well done 
for completing week one. I know it's been a little bit strange, a little bit hard for us all to get used to, um, but we're going to try our best to do the work that we're getting set for home and I hope we're going to try our best to do the challenges that we're getting set for the Marvellous Me and I hope you all have a lovely weekend, you all deserve this and hopefully you'll be refreshed and ready to start again on Monday, okay? Have a fabulous weekend, enjoy it and try and get some fresh air, get out in the garden if you've got one, go on a, on a bike ride or something, enjoy yourselves, ready for Monday, okay? So I'll see you all soon, bye!